Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about search key elements in an array. Uh, suppose enter the size of array. So I am given uh, 8 and here we have to enter 8 elements in the array. So first is 12, 9, 76, 45, 67, 76, 32, 12. So I have 76 at this location and this location. So add here. So I enter, enter the elements to search 76. So 76 found at 3 position. So add here 1, 2, 3. So this add here also 76. But first searching element I want to display. So add here the output come uh, number 76 found at position 3. Suppose if I enter number that not belongs to that not entered in the array, so the output come number is not found. So let's see. Next I am going to discuss what the try and method of this program. So right here, uh, if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that coincides. So right here I have taken integer add type variable a double on and here new int. So right here I have given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. So first variable is a double on array time. Here after I have taken uh, four integer variable. First is n next n1 here after i and flag so here after control comes to this point a scanner class i created sc object of a scanner class by using new a scanner system dot in and here after control comes to this point system class dot r dot print method so what are we don't got that display to the output screen the into the size of array so that display into the output screen here sd dot next in so, uh, n equal to sd dot next in so whatever a string value that comes or that enter so that convert into integer by sc object dot dot method called next in method so that convert into integer and that go to n so i'm going to enter n value fine here after control comes to this point system class dot out dot method so this all display into the output screen into the array elements 
So I tell for i value start from zero. So the condition zero less than n value five condition is true. So that coincides. So I tell a double r zero equal to s dot next int. So let's enter s dot next int so that accept integer value into a double zero position. So I tell this is a double r. So this is a zero index here. One, two, or uh, three, four. So it was zero position. I am going to enter five. Here after I increase, so I is now one. Check the condition one less than five. Condition is to that coincide. So let's enter it was one position new element. So I am going to enter nine. Here after I increase, so I is two now. Or check the condition two less than five condition is true. So let's enter it over two person new element. So I tell I am going to enter or uh, three. Here after I increase so I is three now. Or check the condition three less than five condition is true. So that coincides. So let's enter it over three person new element. So I tell I am going to enter eleven. Here after I increase so I is four now. Check the condition four less than five condition is true. So let's enter it over four person new element. So I tell I am going to enter thirteen. And here after i is now five. So at your check the condition five less than five condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point system class dot odd dot print and then methods. So in the new line that display this message into the element to search and what am I going to enter? So that is by n one. So I am going to enter n one value three. And here after Control comes to this point. For i value start from zero. Check the condition zero less than n value or uh, five. So zero less than five condition is true. That coincides. So I tell it was zero position double equal to n one. So zero position is five. N one value is three. Five double equal to three. That's not true. Not coincide. So here after loop continue. So that increase the value of i. So i is one now. Check the condition one less than five condition is true. That coincides. So I tell it was r. One position double equal to n one, so one position is nine, n one value three. So both are not equal. Here after that, co increase the value of i. So i is two now. So the condition two less than five condition is two. So that coincides. So at here, a double r two position double equal to n one. So two position is three, n one is three. Three equal to three condition is two. That coincides. So at here, flag value initialized to zero. Now that become one. So at here, system class dot r dot print. So at here, that display into the output screen. N one value is three, and pound and position i plus one. So i is not two. Two plus one three. So the output come uh, number three pound at three position. Here after break a statement comes. So break a break a statement that terminate the current executing loop. Now here after control comes to this point. If flag double equal to zero, so flag value is now one. So that not print. Here after that out from main. Method. So suppose if I mark, if I don't to write to break a statement. Suppose if I give at you, uh, in this position three. So what will happen here when a double or three a double or i is two. So at you a double or two position double equal to one. So two position is three. Three double equal to three. That's so all true. So that coincides. So that print all those things and there is no any break a statement. So break a statement so that not to omit here after that out from if and i increase so i is three now and here check the condition three less than five condition is to that coincide so at if a or r i value is three double equal to n one so three position is eleven and i n one value is three so eleven double equal to three that's not true not coincide here after i increase so i is four now or check the condition four less than five condition is to so at here a or r so here this point there is or uh, three. So it of four double equal to three. Four position is three, and here n one value three. Three equal to three condition is two. So that coincide again. The flag value is one. Here after system dot r dot print. So I have number three pound at i plus one. So i is four now. Four plus one. The output come five. So first time the output come number or uh, three pound at position three. Next time number three e pound at position five. And here after i gonna increase, so i is five. So check the condition five less than five condition is. Oh, uh, not to not coincide here after that output follow.
So right here, if you use break a statement, a statement, so if this condition is true, if condition is true, then that terminate current executing interval. So whatever the number first found, also that display if you are using break statement. So now in this video, it's over. So this is the dry end method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.